What up, though? Y'all already know how I go. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You did. Today, I want to do a video on the SMB indictment. I want to do a video on the SMB indictment and narrate this for y'all so y'all can know what's going on in the city. These boys, they was into some stuff. But before we get into that, I want to talk about CancelBadCredit.com again. CancelBadCredit.com. All one word together. Cancelbadcredit.com. The links will be in the description. And trust and believe me, you hit the brother up, y'all can work something out. You don't have to give all your personal information. He'll call you 2, 3 in the morning. You can call him 2, 3 in the morning, schedule a phone appointment. And he'll walk you through everything you need. He'll walk you into filling out the paperwork if you don't want to do it yourself. Because I know a lot of y'all... Be very skeptical who you give your social security number to, who you have, um, <clears throat> filing your taxes. And when it comes to financial stuff, it's just so imperative to keep that private. I understand it. Trust me. I'll be skeptical myself, even though the big companies that's on, um, you know, YouTube ads and on commercials, because all of them not right either. I'm telling you, I tried it myself. I seen Floyd Mayweather. I believe it was Snoop Dogg. Oh, and Akon. Seen Akon on there. So I'm like, let me call him. Or whatever. Call them. They tell me everything they could do. What could happen. They needed my personal information. And they didn't jip me. Uh, you know, they didn't take my you know, social security number and do crazy things with it that I know of. But it was just too expensive. $900 for like three months of service. I ain't doing that right now. You can get it for $89. You can get, you can get financially literate about your credit. For eighty nine dollars, and have somebody work hand in hand with you for eighty nine dollars. Anybody else, you would be paying hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to stop playing. The credit cleansing kit is a set of attorney constructed letters that forces the credit reporting agencies to remove negative items from your credit report due to agencies placing and reporting those items illegally without following the FCRA. That's the Fair Credit Act, F Fair Credit Reporting Act. Now. Uh, let me tell you this too. If you don't go look at your your credit report and do it the right way with the right company, you won't see that some of these um bad credit reports that you get, these things that you owe, they, they'll they'll charge you twice for the same debt. Charge you twice for the same debt. They do that. It, trust me, it's been done to me. The credit cleansing kit is not a book. We did not include any unnecessary documents or information in this credit repair kit. What you will receive are straight to the point letters already crafted to deal directly with every credit repair problem imaginable. These are the same letters the large credit repair companies and attorneys use. And what you don't know too is when you work with Kali, he will help you get anything that you didn't put there off. Anything that you didn't put on your credit report, it was bad. He'll help you get that off. And give you the game for $89. How soon will I receive the credit cans and kit after payment? So that's what you're asking. Within seconds, he's going to email you. Once you purchase our credit repair kit, we will send all of your attorney crafted letters and bonus materials to your email in a matter of seconds, along with the Short and simple instructions so you can immediately start removing negative items from your credit report. Get that. Why not? You got somebody working hand in hand with you for $89. $89. Straight to your email. Straight to your phone. Wherever you wanted it. Cancelbadcredit.com. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the website. Let me know what you think. Peace and blessings be upon y'all. Let's get into this video. What up, though? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. Before we get into this video, um, shout out to cancelbadcredit.com. The links are in the description. It's simple as that. Cancelbadcredit.com. Work with them hand in hand. Don't even give up none of your personal information. He'll direct you uh, in, in doing it. Over the phone, Zoom, uh, Skype, uh, FaceTime, whatever, whatever. Just go check it out one time. Just go check it out. $89.
to get your credit up and going so you can uh, refinance that house, uh, finance a car, lease a car, so you can do all the stuff that people who, you know, grew up financially literate can do. We all deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Go cancelbaddebtcredit.com. Cancelbaddebtcredit.com. Kelly. Let me get straight into this video, though. Um, shout out to Robert Snell for the story. He doing an excellent, excellent job. Y'all put Robert Snell in my comments. Put Robert Snell uh, up, 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 up on me. You dig? Um, he's a Detroit News reporter. Robert Snell, he doing great. Um, anyway, back in Detroit, the Seven Mile Bloods battle with gangs spread across the east side, including the Hustle Boys, Gutter Boys, and Six Mile Cheddar Grove. Hit lists started popping up on Instagram after a chance encounter in summer of 2014 between rival gang members at a state parole office on Detroit's west side. Oh, yeah. Um, Meech can vouch for this also, too. Shout out Ink Town Meech. That's his Instagram. He can vouch for this, too. You're a real hitter, and they can't really find you out in traffic. They'll come to your parole office and find out your date for show for show. They'll, they'll go uh, look up. Your prison number so in, in first and last name and see what date you got to come up there and they will be waiting for you at the parole office out here. That's that's real. Um, On July 14, 2014, 23-year-old uh, twins Michael and Martez Davis arrived at the Lawton Parole Office for a morning meeting with the parole agent. The twins have identical convictions for armed robbery. The Davis brothers wrapped together under the name 42 Twins and have toured extensively while posting rap videos on YouTube. Shout out them brothers. For real, for real. The rap group 42 Twins was an active YouTube, has an active YouTube and Instagram presence um, video on YouTube. The Twins also belong to the Seven Mile Bloods rival gang, the Hustle Boys. That's 42, prosecutors say. Around 11 a.m., the Twins were finished with their parole meetings. Before they left, they crossed paths with a rival accused Seven Mile Bloods leader, Billy Arnold, prosecutors say. By coincidence, Arnold had his own meeting with the parole agent that morning. After spotting the Twins, Arnold called several friends, including alleged Seven Mile Bloods member Corey Bailey, a.k.a. Cocaine Sonny, so the group could confront the Hustle Boys. The Davis Twins, meanwhile, climbed into a car filled with two other Hustle Boys, including DeWan Neffs. Um, the Hustle Boys traveled for about four miles before approaching the intersection of Grand River Avenue and Oakman Boulevard on Detroit's west side. The Hustle Boys were shadowed by three cars filled with Seven Mile Blood members. Near Grand River and Oakman, a white Chrysler Sebring filled with Seven Mile Bloods accelerated and pulled alongside the Hustle Boys' car. Arno and Bailey um, leaned out of Seven Mile Blood's car and opened fire, prosecutors allege. Billy Arnold left, and uh, Corey Bailey is a picture up there. Of him. I I'll have him there. Um, Michael Davis was shot in the chest. More bullets struck Page in the left eye and upper body. Page's friend flagged down social worker Shaolet O'Neill who was headed back to work after lunch. They asked O'Neill for a ride to the hospital. O'Neill was afraid and initially wouldn't look at Paige. Um, Dewan Neff, um, when she finally looked, O'Neill screamed. All I saw was an eyeball out of his socket, she testified. Paige was alive barely. He uh, lingered in a coma for several weeks before dying. Paige was 22. After Paige was killed, Billy Arnold talked about the shooting with Derek Kennedy, according to testimony. Kennedy pleaded guilty to racketeering conspiracy and testified about the conversation. Who? He said he cooked him. Kennedy testified he shot him. Prosecutors promised jurors during the first round of trials in January that they would hear from another key witness. Michael Davis, who survived the attack and testified twice in secret in front of a grand jury. You will hear that it's Michael Davis. One of the twins who identified Billy Arnold and Corey Bailey as the people who shut up the car, Assistant U.S. Attorney Christopher uh, Graveline told jurors it was a promise prosecutors could not keep. Martez Davis survived the shooting and was charged in a separate federal gun case in August. At the time, Assistant U.S. Attorney Rajesh Prasad said Davis was a suspect in a drive-by shooting deaths of rappers Ray Mill, 47 Mill. Uh, Campbell and Dominique Brown in July of 2017 and near I-94 
in uh, Livernois in Detroit. Now, I don't know too much about the situation, but I do know some people's characters. And I, and I do know some people connected with the situation. I was, even outside of the guest that I had on, the guest rapper, uh, 82 Baby J. I'm going to just say this, and I, I know people might kill me for this comment, right? Now, I, I'm not talking about literally. But there's no signed statement by Mike. No signed statement. From what I hear, it's just, yeah, I'll do it if y'all can cut me a deal. Tell me what y'all know. I'm trying to get information out the police. I'm... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think. I, I don't think he was snitching. But that's just me. Other people will beg to differ. Okay? He didn't get on that stand and point dog out. None of that. And, you know, he got... I'm going to let y'all I'm gonna let y'all decide that. I'm, I'm, I'm speechless about it to an extent after, you know, the stuff that I read and, the, and the stuff that people propagate about the situation. But... I rock with dog. I like him. And it's not just because I like him. I'm a defending anything like that. It's just from what I hear from my research about the situation, people bringing things to my attention. That's, that's a good thing about blogging now. I got a guy on my, um, Instagram and I don't, I don't know if you want me to say his name or not because he's real secret if you don't have no pictures up, but he really is a criminal historian. I don't know if he a lawyer somewhere, but he got to be like a lawyer that just don't want to say nothing. He got to be a lawyer because he got too much information. He got too much personal information on guys, man. He don't have no pictures or nothing. But when he first started sending me this stuff, I'm like, dude, this dude crazy. You don't know what he's talking about. Then I just started looking it up. He got accurate facts about everything. And then the long paragraphs that he sent me is full of facts that don't nobody else know. Watch your friends out here in these streets. They ain't your friends, y'all. Out of all this stuff that I've been dropping, what you think the common denominator is in all this? People turned on each other. They did stupid stuff. And I, and I know y'all probably seen, you know, in, in one of my videos, oh, he got caught with 11,000. He got caught with 3,000. After a lawyer, bro, how much of that you think you're going to have left? You got, you stack up 20, 30 bands. You know how fast that go? Because I don't stack up 20, 30 bands, caught some cases, paid some people, or well, bonded some people out of jail. Next thing you know, I was back at broke. Easy come, easy go. And another common denominator out of all these, uh, excuse me, a common result out of all this is graveyard, prison, eyeballs hanging out, death, destruction. You don't get it? It's only a few end results to this. It very rarely ever changes because you never get enough money to get out the game. And when you do, you addicted to the spotlight and the glory. It's a drug. Peace and blessings be upon y'all.